So today in BMG Drive, we're going to be skipping cars across the most dangerous ponds. And folks, we're going to be using some cheap vehicles, including dragsters, chargers, and the new CCF mod. And folks, the results are super surprising. So stay tuned until the end to see which vehicle makes it the furthest. Hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. All right. So we're going to start off here with the new CCF vehicle here in BMG Drive. We're going to see how good this thing is at pond skipping. It is the turbocharged version. I kind of have high hopes for this. Like, I feel like it might make it a decent ways. It's not the fastest vehicle in the game, but I just, I like the shape. All right, here we go. Are we going to be able to make it? And... Oh, dude, this thing skips so good. Oh, my goodness. We almost made it to the 175 mark. That is honestly surprising. I wonder if I've got a faster one. Would bigger tires work better? There are some off-road versions of it. Uh, I'm just worried about the speed that you lose. I've got one more version I want to use. This is the cup car. I don't know if it's actually really faster. Uh, we'll have to see. I mean, technically it is like the race car version, but that turbocharged is a beast. So I think we're setting at roughly about 170 or we'll go 165 as far as how far this vehicle's made it. But man, I knew when looking at it, I was like, I feel like this thing's going to skip really well. And you know what? We're proving it is, and by the way, this mod is available on the repo. This is like mod of the year. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, so turbocharged it is. So I think this one set the benchmark here uh, at 165, so roughly right in this area. Which, by the way, I think I have a vehicle that can make it to 500 and beyond, so be sure to stay tuned. And then, of course, we're going to go to maybe some acid here in a little bit. So yeah, it's been a wonderful year as far as Beam and G mods. I haven't gotten to use a lot of these vehicles on some of these clickbait maps. Uh, so we're going to go with the old Lamborghini here. This thing kind of already looks like a boat. So I feel like it's going to do relatively well. I mean, look at this. I mean, it, well, actually, I take that back. The front end of this might shovel down into the water, but we're about to figure that out. Here we go. So the mark to beat is... We're going to call it 165. Shouldn't be that hard, but, I mean, you got to give the last vehicle uh, props. It did a well of a job there. So here we go. Uh, man, this doesn't feel as fast as I thought it was going to be, but I feel like the shape, it might either sink or it might do really well. Is there an in-between? And Oh, no, it didn't make it as far as the other vehicle did. Wow. Our first attempt has been our best one so far, and it was with a probably unexpected vehicle. So this might just be a dumb attempt, but this was another mod that we got a hold of this year. It's the Hiroshi Arrow. I think it's the Japanese Arrow bus. Uh, one of the most like awesome modded buses I've seen here in BMG Drive, and I think it was still in beta when we checked it out. Like the amount of buttons that you can click in this thing are is insane. But I don't think it's gonna do very well in this. Um, okay, I say if we make it past like the 20 meters, we're probably uh, that's about as good as it's gonna get. I think. Just not notice this thing tops out at. Uh, am I stuck in gear? Is there a. I mean, it's a five speed. Oh no. I don't think we're gonna float at all. Alright, here goes nothing. And. I mean, the 20's not that far in, right? Uh, oh! Um. We'll call it about the 40 before I was all the way down. I didn't expect that to work. But, I mean, it looks kinda cool. If we had a huge snorkel on this. Uh, wait, can you put a snorkel on a bus like this? I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Yep, it's submerged. Not going to work. Okay, it would be a shame if we didn't use the new T-Series, and this is probably the fastest of the group. So let's get moving here. Uh, let's turn on our NOS. Uh, go high. Oh, yeah. It's going to take it a second. It's getting up through the gears. All 700 gears. Actually, I don't know what kind of transmission this one has. Is it 10 speed? No, I don't think it's a 10 speed, is it? Maybe it is a six speed. Uh, oh, buddy. I don't think it's going to float. Like, the bottom of this isn't really flat. And I feel like it's it's just going to sink really quick. I don't know. The cab's pretty bulky, though. So, what do you guys think it's going to make it to? Here we go. Oh, that. Dude. That was right around the 40. It just went directly down. I kind of felt like this wasn't going to work. It's heavy, bulky, and it doesn't really have, like, a skid plate or something under it. That way, it can kind of glide across. Uh, but you know what? It was worth attempting. All right, so this was one of the newer Lamborghini mods that was on the forums on the BMG website. I have extremely high hopes for this. It is fast. The bottom of it's flat. <laughs> oh, 
this might make the distance. I think probably one of the furthest distance we've made it on this map was back in a video when we did it with the Bugatti. Oh, the speed is nice. Over 200 and... Oh! That was... What? So... Wait, what is that hanging off the car? Was that the... Did the rear end just explode? Wait, look... Is that a bump? No, wait. That is the rear section of the car. So this thing, like, swung down. It was so violent, it cracked the roof. The frunk is actually inside of the vehicle now. That is one of the oddest things I think I've ever seen. Like, as soon as it hit the water, it went straight down, and I think the pressure managed to break everything in the car. Like, look at the roof. The roof is almost in the dash. Holy man. Okay, I honestly I'm a little shocked. I thought that one was gonna do a lot better. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say there. Okay, look at this beast of a machine here. This is the drag Satsuma. Now this vehicle has seen several like updates this year with like expansions. Uh, one of the best vehicles in the game. Um, am I in slow mo? I'm not in slow mo. You know I picked the drag version. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I've actually driven this one much. Why is there such a delay? <laughs> like, you go about 10 miles an hour uh, for the first 5 to 10 seconds, and then all of a sudden, it kicks in, and we are at uh, over 150 miles an hour. Will it float? Oh, this one floats good, but it's unstable. Hmm, do we give that another run? You know, there is another version of this. There's a hill climb. I don't know if the wings are going to hurt it or help it, but I think the splitter on the front might be a tad bit bigger. So here it is. The hill climb. Ooh, I think water might get between that. Either that's going to act like a float or water's going to go between the splitter and the bumper and it's going to immediately sink. Uh, I'm not really sure how this one's going to turn out. It does pick up immediately, but I think it isn't going to go as fast as the drag version. All right, here we go. I love this map, by the way. Uh, if you guys have any other ideas for this map, comment down below. And is it going to float? You know, it's just as unstable. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I, I was thinking you're going to get a little bit different result. It did decent, though. Like, I'm not that disappointed by the uh, Satsuma here. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this one. It is the Lansdale. It's the minivan. We do have the big souped-up version here. So, I don't know, maybe this is going to work well. I don't know what the underside of this is like. Also, this is probably a heavy vehicle, I would imagine. We do have the race version, which might be slightly stripped down. You got race seats, which are probably lighter than uh, your standard seats in here. And there's a supercharger on this, so... I don't know, we're booking pretty good here. But question is, does it float? Okay, keep it stable. It floats really well, but this vehicle slows down really quick. Do you guys notice that? Like, a lot of the vehicles, like, say the uh, CCF, just kept gliding for days. And I'm sure it's because it's a light vehicle. Uh, but, man, the van, kind of disappointing. Like, especially for how much speed we're carrying at the end of this road, you would feel like we would go, like, above and beyond here. Here we go. One more attempt. Yeah, like, it floats really nice, but it slows down so quick. So... Definitely don't think we're going to be pulling the van back out. So yeah, this is a newer Supra mod that we checked out earlier this year. Which, by the way, if you want to find some of these, I don't think I'll be able to link everything down in the description. Uh, you can always just type in my channel and type in Supra. And it should be the uh, latest video. I'll have a link in it uh, there. So here we go. Oh, this is going to be good. I feel like there's a lot of panels, a lot of arrow on this one. And it's pretty flat on the bottom. So I think this one might fly. Uh, I'm hoping it does. Come on, baby. We got to glide all the way across here. Here it goes. And... Oh! Whoa! Okay. So it seemed like the front end was going to stay up, but man, I think it was the... Well, was that the splitter? Or there's a diffuser. What piece fell off? It kind of looked, looked like it was still on the back of it. I feel like it caught somewhere in the rear section. Maybe we should pull out a different version of this. Okay, so I have a Midnight Club version of it. Uh, a little bit different front bumper. A uh, huge opening for the intercooler, but it doesn't have any of that rear stuff on it, so I feel like the arrow, like, it's not going to catch back here. At least I'm hoping it isn't. Oh my goodness, this is nice. Hold on, let's turn off uh, traction, get max speed here. By the way, there's just something really appealing about going down this tunnel with all the different lights, like how it reflects off the car. Oh man, it's absolutely beautiful, and here we go. 
Oh, that one felt better, but it still does the weird turnaround. Uh, so we're going to say that one made it to 80 there. Maybe maybe 85. Probably give that to it, but I had a little bit higher hopes for this one. Still a beautiful looking mod, though. Okay, so here is the Dodge Charger mod that we checked out earlier this year. This is the drag version of it. I mean, they always call Dodge's boats, so you figure <laughs> that maybe they do float well. I mean, they call them boats because they don't turn very well. I mean, maybe that wasn't the case back then. Uh, but Dodges are also really heavy, so there's a chance this one's going right to the bottom. But my goodness, this is fast. Here we go. Oh, look at that. You've got to be kidding me. Dude, 325. Uh-uh. We got to run it again. That was so freaking awesome. Well, I wonder if I should back up. Was I topped out? On. Let's see if I actually hit the top speed. By the way, I'm still wheel spinning right now. You can see the tire marks. Uh, come on. Clear up. There it goes. Okay, we're good. And I still feel like I have speed. Uh, 350? 350. Hmm. Okay. I normally don't do this. Uh, we got a little bit we can back up here. So we'll get just a little bit more speed. All right. Let's see what we got here. Come on, you just gotta stop that wheel spin, which there's not really much I could do other than let it kind of get out of it itself. Oh my goodness. The wheel spin was so extreme, it just it launched us to the left side of the tunnel there. Alright, here we go. I don't know if we're gonna go really much faster than we were earlier. Here it is again. Oh, we're already turning sideways a little bit. Look at it. Uh, 320. It's pretty consistent right around the 350 mark. Okay. I'm impressed. Uh, this thing did really well. So here's another one that I think might float. This is the Venti Quattro. This is the mod. We just checked this out a couple days ago. It is a V24 in there. So you got plenty of power, plenty of aero. So the question is, does it sink or does it float? Oh yeah, it's got power. Uh, it's actually not as ridiculous as it sounds. Uh, but yeah, let's see what it does. Oh, oh, it died out so quick. Wow, that was actually really similar to the van. Honestly, this thing's got to be like half the weight of the van, and it just conked out. Uh, I almost think it, it's got to be the arrow, because if I recall right, we've done the bolide before, and it actually did decent. So, there's a mod, and this mod isn't, I don't even think it's from this year, I think it's from last year, and I've been using it on a lot of these maps, like the planet map. We got to try the dragster out, because it's so freaking fast. Does it actually carry over? This is, to me, a cheap vehicle. Uh, the only thing I'm a little worried about, that front end, I don't know if it's gonna float. Like, it might just immediately veer off, but we're about to figure out because we're gonna be going so fast. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is not a prep drag strip, so it's gonna take a second. There it goes. It hooked up. Oh, what is that? <laughs> uh, we need to see that in slow-mo. I don't know what just happened. I feel like it just twisted there and it just got stuck. I was hoping this was gonna be the, the be-all end-all here. All right, slow it down. I mean, we're at over 400. Maybe we're going too fast. I could get one of the slower versions of it. By the way, it's the Mio Dragster. And, okay, the front wing. Oh, it just folds itself. That front wing acted like a scoop. It went straight down, folded it, and my goodness, we are now flying off. Uh, I don't know why Spieler put trees on the outside of this. Seems a little dangerous, but that's the thing. Okay, let's, uh, let's dumb down the power a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go with nitrous. We got rid of the back wing and the front wing, so I'm hoping this holds together a little bit better. Well, I thought it was the nitrous one. Uh, maybe it's the twin turbo? I don't know, whatever it is, it's it's pretty decent. It's okay as far as speed. I still feel like the shape, the nose is what's gonna dip it here. Yep, I, I don't think that's good for skipping. You know, I'm actually kind of disappointed because I felt like this was going to be like the cheat vehicle. So. Obviously, we know which vehicles are really good. We need to go over to the acid map and try it there. Okay, well, I'm hoping this isn't broken. Uh, there's been a couple updates to the game since this map came out. So we'll see if it still acts the same. But here we go, acid versus dragster. And I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> Honestly, the game just gave up there. I don't think we're making it very far. So when you touch the acid, it melts the vehicle. If it's still acting the same way, we're about to try it with the CCF mod because honestly, between it and the Charger, uh, these have been two of the best uh, skippers. So 
We'll see if this thing can even get any sort of like momentum before it melts. Oh man, this this mod though. Oh, you're talking about high quality. I hope we're gonna get to use this in multiplayer uh, here really, really soon. So be sure to stay tuned for that. All right, here we go. And <laughs> wait, wait, what? Did we just make it further? Okay, this has been probably one of the most confusing Beam and G episodes I've ever done. That made it really far. <laughs> this might be the winner. All right, so we're almost at the 300. We got to pull it out. We got to go pull the charger out. Let's see if it can match and or do better. I know it's a faster vehicle. All right, here we go. And light them up. Oh, this is going to be good. I have really high expectations for this. It floats really nice. Even if it loses its parts, I feel like its momentum is going to carry it for a while. Okay, come on. Over 200 miles an hour. And here we go. Oh, it's carrying it. No, you got to stay inside of the course. Okay. So we saw what happened there. As soon as you hit, it pulled it to the right. So let's try to enter from like the left lane here. That way it doesn't leave the lane or leave the acid pool. Okay, is it gonna do the same thing here? Pull to the right. Oh, yeah, it does it. Okay. Oh, it spins around too quick. You know, I think we gotta say it. I, I gotta say the CCF is the winner for the video. 